MK party have started uh, in parliament, right? Um, here, MK party have started and they are asking the right questions. It is question after question after question. Now, in this uh, in this video, we had oh, Mr. Reddy asking some very interesting question. The independency, like how independent is the president? Because the president comes from the ANC. The people that are getting deployed comes from the ANC. But we still have to accept the idea of his independency. Uh, how does it work, right? In fact, in fact, this question is true, but I'm going to play you a video just to show you that MK Party asked this question, right? But I want you to notice the following. Uh, during the elections campaign, right, you'll remember there were videos, I think, uh, is it 702 or 94.7, people were sending voice notes. One lady in particular said that uh, she was looking for, a look at, was it employment or what? Uh, so, uh, or a, a tender of some sort. And the, the ANC counselor asked this question, you are not even wearing the ANC thing, you don't even have an ANC card. And since you don't have that, how do you expect me to help you because you do not have an ANC membership? So that's how they recruit people. And that's how they force people to become members of the ANC, right? And so they will not give you services if you are not a member of the ANC. The question that is being asked by MK Party, it just exactly along those lines to say, uh, how do we ensure the independence of everything here if, for instance... Uh, things like that does happen where a person is not treated the way they should be treated or a person get favors because they are from the ANC simply because the president is, the, is from the ANC. How do we trust the independency of the president? How sure are we that the president is as independent as he should? That's the question that MK Party uh, is asking. A very interesting question that I find it very interesting because they also go through now the list of people that are fr like are selected coming from the ANC, which backs the point. It proves the point that people are selected not on the basis of qualification, but on the basis of an uh, affiliation. Well, let me repeat this one. People are selected not on the basis of qualifications, but on the basis of uh, association. Because you are from the ANC, therefore you will be selected by the president to certain position. Well, if that's the case, then how far can we go, right? If we are saying a person is selected on the basis of such of association, how far does it go? Does the, will the president be free and, and fair? Will the president be independent? Will the president treat people equally because he's the president of this country? Well, I'm definitely sure that you will treat me equal as you do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed as the mk party continues to ask these important questions i thought too i need to share the video uh from e from e i need to share the video from e Look, e, e, look, e, MK Party, right, when they were addressing that. But before I can do so successfully, you need to give me this moment, right, um, maybe to ask you this question. Do you believe that uh, these political parties are f f as free as, um, as they say? You know why I'm saying that? Because one member of the ANC who was a councillor in one of the municipalities there or one of the areas in KZN, when he was not voted... When he was, when the MK, when, when people voted MK party, he 
he brought people to come and remove a transformer, which, by the way, I think it's a criminal offense, right? If that transformer was installed properly in that local follow the right channels, and because you are not voted, you come and remove it, then you remember that it is the right of the community to have access to free water, free electricity. I mean, not free water, but to have access to water, to access to electricity. Then you come and you broke one of the uh, look, one of the um, one of the constitutional right right there. I think there's a reason for that person to get arrested. But nevertheless, we are just spoke, speaking about the free and fairness of people being independent, right? Not serving, um, not serving members of their political party instead of serving the country. How free, how free and fair do you think the president is? It's a question of the day that was asked by MK party in parliament. Uh, that's a fundamental question that is very important for you and I. The reason I want to show you that is very important. Take a look at this. Uh, th thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my name is Vispan Reddy. I'm from Mkonto, a Caesar party. The one thing that was common from all the presentations, and forgive me, I need to get clarity on this, I think it's very important, was that the president makes the appointments of the commissioners. And I'll take that a step further and even go to the boards wherever the president makes appointments. Now, the DA took this matter to court, the issue of CADA deployment, and what the ANC had confirmed was that the ANC's deployments committee were making these recommendations. So my question would be, how do we ensure the independence of these uh, uh, Chapter 9 institutions, bearing in mind that the president of the country happens to also be the president of the uh, ANC? And now that we have the so-called uh, GNU in place, I, I wonder how is it that this is going to move going forward? We've had criticisms that were le leveled against members of the commission, it's been out in the media, that some of them were active functionaries of the ANC during uh, the past, either in the Youth League or in some structure of the ANC, and that's how they, they found themselves getting appointed there. Now, it is absolutely critical, uh, Speaker, that for the sake of transparency and ensuring that these commissions are seen to be truly independent, that there should be no political interference, especially from the office of the president, because currently the president is actually a political functionary in this house. I just want to know and get some advice going forward in the seventh administration how we could change this. I thank you. Okay, so speaking about this, now that you have listened to the man, now that you have heard the man yourself, what do you make of his questions? What do you make? Do you think for a moment that the president we have is free and fair? Is, hmm, speaking about free, how do you think the president could be free when he himself is facing a lot of legal, uh, legal battles, right? Uh, he himself is facing uh, legal battles that he might be arrested anytime soon from now. How do you expect the very same president to be free and to be fair? How do you expect the very same president, right, to respect the rule of law when the, the, the very same president, um, how do you expect that man to hold everything with integrity when he himself has got a lot of questions to answer? He signs a deal with the DA, a pro deal that protects him and deal DA told us, we know it for a fact today. DA told us that the deal they signed with Ramaphosa says they will not vote for a local, a local a they will not vote for any vote of vote of no confidence against Ramap against Ramaphosa. Should they be uh, such in this current um, situation right now, where uh, look in this administration, they say unless there is some new evidence, it means this man acknowledges that uh, there is something that can get him out of office. It means that the man really acknowledges that. So since the man acknowledges. The fact that he might be called at local, they might remove him out of office because of that. It tells me the deal he signs with the TA explains that clear, that the man is scared of getting out of office. So if that man is if the man is scared of getting out of office, um, I wanna know like the question that MK parties are they're asking. Do you think it's got the potential of Upholding the Constitution. 
because he always tells us about uh, he always tells us about constitution the processes he likes quoting the constitution and telling us about how processes must be followed right but today that very man um he's he's in this mess i wonder if we can expect that man to be independent and, par and impartial i don't know the mk party they are asking a very interesting question you know what i'm saying to me it's very interesting and i said to myself mm, this is this one yeah <laughs> this one is very interesting how do you find it when i'm interested to know i'm interested to hear your thought and your opinion about it i mean i find it very weird I find it very, not weird in a sense that the MK party is very weird, but I'm saying I find it very strange that we expect Pala Pala to uphold the, the constitution. I don't think the man has got such capabilities. His political strategy as well. It's just something of, you know what I'm saying? It's not make sure. It's not make sure. It's really not make sure. What's your take? Can you get into the comment section below? Break it down for me. I want to know. I will be waiting to read your comments understanding what you've got to say about everything here. Yeah.